All right, so we're back in our crib here. So I got my bathtubs, I got my sinks, and I got my dishwashers. Actually, we made too many dishwashers, so I'm gonna delete that dishwasher. We're only gonna install one dishwasher at the moment. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my scenes. I wanna get a top-down view here of my object, of my crib. And I'll close that up to make some more space here. And then if I look here with my walls, okay, um, all walls, in here two rooms with walls with a width of four and a half inches so typically a typical wall with drywall inside your house is about four and a half inches and if I zoom in on these walls here you can see here if I use my tape measure tool T for tape measure and you can see in the lower right it says four and a half inches so how I'm going to start doing this here my floor plan design um, is um, I'm going to look get a little bit of an orbit here so I can see things so I can see my doors um, doors over here and I'm going to start over here in the corner so right here in the corner I'll zoom in on that area and I'm going to draw some lines so L for line and I'm simply going to draw 4.5 over and then I'm going to go this way and just go all the way across here and close that in and once you close it in usually you're going to get a white gradient you'll see there um, I'm not going to push or pull those walls yet so so I got one wall right there. I know that. So it's a, it's a flat wall right now. And then I'm going to draw a wall all the way across here. And I'm going to come, hand over, move it over. And then back to my line tool. And I'm going all the way. And I'm going to go right around the edge of the store. If it's not perfect, that's fine. If you're really looking to make it perfect, um, you can use your tape measure tool. And you can draw a line going across there. That is called a construction line that I can erase here in a moment. So line and come out to there and then I'm moving down 4.5 enter and then all the way back here to where it locks there those nodes so when it locks there that's called a node um, when it's locking so I got a wall right back there cool that looks good uh, I'm also gonna do another wall um, I'm gonna do another wall down here just a uh, orbit around so I can see it a bit better another line here just to give us more practice on building, especially framing out our walls here. And this will be 4.5, uh, then going in. And it's already, it already knows what I'm doing right there. Cool. And then I'm gonna do another wall going across here. I'm gonna leave some space, but this wall, I'm gonna make a standard eight feet. Enter, also eight feet is 96 inches. And then 4.5, enter, and then bring it back there. That looks good. Hey, now I'm going to move a bathtub in. So I'm going to just press M for move and select my bathtub. And I'm going to orbit around a bit. Oop, see it a little bit different here. And I want to move the corner of this bathtub into my space there. That looks good. And then orbit around again here. Maybe I'll do my scenes to get a top-down view. Bring it back. And then line here. I'm drawing another wall. Um, this wall, I'm going to do 8 feet again. So 8 feet are 96 inches. 8 feet, enter, and then 4.5 over. And then same idea going back here. Let's see if it locks in. There you go. And then finish that. Cool. And then I'm going to put that other bathtub, move again, and move it on in. Um, this time, I'm going to change things up a bit. So watch this here. We're going to rotate this around compared to my other design which you've seen uh, right here. If I look at this design, I have two tubs like right next to each other. This one, I'm gonna rotate it. So I'm gonna come over here to my move area and I click the rotate. And let's say I wanna rotate it this way here and whoop, move it around and then move again and I can just move it. And then orbit, so using those hotkeys to move things around and I know I wanna move this into that corner if I can. Let's see if it goes in. I see a mistake here because I drew this wall. Check out this wall. That wall is hovering in the air right there. Because I know the bathtub is 15 inches high here, what I can do now, if I zoom in on here, um, I'm actually just going to delete it. So we're just going to redo that. Alexa, pause. But I can just delete that here and redo this here, delete that line there. 
And Alexa, pause. Sorry, everyone. Got some food in the oven here. Okay, eight feet. Enter. Alexa, timer off. Okay, and then coming back here, and there's my wall. Sweet. And then I can orbit around here again, and I'm going to move the corner of that tub into that corner somewhere, but I got to orbit around again. A little bit of a pain, but I think you get the idea. I'm going to move it in that corner right there. Perfect. Sweet. There is my tub. And I'm going to pause this video right there and take care of my food, and then we'll come back for our next video here on some more walls.